Welcome to another edition of Mint Condition. I'm Jim Basquale. We have a special guest on today's show, WWE Hall of Famer Ric Flair, joining us on the phone courtesy of MAB Celebrity Services. Rick, thanks for taking the time out of your schedule. No problem, man. How are you? Anything with Molly. She's the best. <laughs> I'm, very, I'm very good. You're appearing with Hulk Hogan and Ken Shamrock at MAB's upcoming show. Wrestling fans are noted for their passion. What have your experiences been with the fans over the years? Um, you know, to be honest with you, one of the things to focus on, which uh, Molly and MAB have done, is the fact that Hogan and I have never done anything together, you know. And I love I love Ken, you know, and know Ken very well personally. But he's an MMA guy that had a, you know, a short time with the WWE. And uh, probably, and Ken's not getting the recognition he deserves as being one of the guys that made... Uh, Dana and UFC go like they are, but for me and Hogan to be together on a day taking pictures and signing autographs is huge, and uh, um, I'm just excited as hell about it. It's a, it's a great deal, and uh, Hulk and I are you know closer than ever, and it's a great opportunity for fans to see something they'll never see. They'll never see. It's a historical moment, so hey, I'm hey, pretty Rick, excited about it. Rick, how about your experience with the fans over the years, over the course of your career? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's just, you know, for me, it's all about respect, you know, and uh, at the end of the day, you think we all think we've accomplished something, but nothing is uh, confirms what you've accomplished than uh, the respect from the people you're around, you know what I mean? And I do autograph signings if people are so respectful and thankful, and, you know, I'm not sure what I did to be, for them to say <laughs> thank you, but I, I must have done something right, right? You know, the saying... Sure. For all things that are wrong, it was just something right. And so they're thankful, they're respectful, they're so respectful. And wrestling fans are the greatest sport in the world. I will never, I won't waver on that, on that comment. Wrestling is the greatest sport in the world with the most loyal fan base I've ever seen in my life. How about this? Out of all the items you've been asked to sign, what would you say is the most outlandish request you've ever received? Well, I, I was told you were going to ask me this question, and believe it or not, the most outlandish request I've ever been, I've ever been asked is to sign a baby. Okay. And I refuse to do it. I've had women put their three or four or eight months or one year old child on the table and say, please sign my baby. I, and I refuse to do it. So, you know, nothing, not out of lack of respect for them, but I just don't think it's appropriate. I just won't do it. How about so. this? How about you? Have have is there anyone you've ever asked for an autograph? Uh nope. There are three people I would and I've met all three of them but I didn't have to because they you know they approached me at the same time I approached them it'd be Will Chamberlain and Joe Namath and uh who else am I really I'm, I'm trying to my there's only three people I've ever really admired. That'd be LeBron, of course. I love LeBron. Those are those are Will, three. Joe and LeBron. It's a pretty cool class, right? Yeah, those are three cool names right there. What memorabilia have you kept from your career over the years? I've kept my robes, you know, and they go for like between fifty to eighty thousand a piece on eBay. So I've kept I've kept I have about eight of them left. For my kids, you know, for my legacy. When nature's gone, they'll have some robes. I don't, I'm not sure what they're worth to them, but I've kept a couple. Let me get you out of here on this. You've had numerous pieces of memorabilia made, trading cards, action figures, etc. What is the favorite item that you've been depicted on? Uh, actually, it would be the... Uh, Action figures that make my body look so much better than it is. How's <laughs> <laughs> that? <laughs> hey, they make me look like I'm uh, 25 years old again, and I, I love that. <laughs> what man wouldn't? <laughs> That's understandable. He's WWE Hall of Famer Ric Flair. Rick joining us courtesy of MAB Celebrity Services. Rick, thanks for taking some time out of your schedule. Thank you, sir. God bless. All right. For more hobby news and information, check us out on Facebook.com slash ESPN Mint Condition and on Twitter at ESPN Mint C-O-N-D-I-T. Rick Flair, I'm Jim Baskell. We'll see you next time.